right, so we are at the desktop screen for the uh, Joel SEM, and you need to open two uh, pieces of software. One is the Devon Chamber Scope, which is the IR camera inside the SEM. The other one is the InTouch Scope, and you want to open up the one with the lemon lime symbol on there. So the software is pulled up, we are going to click the Set Specimen button, and that's going to start venting the chamber. So once the chamber is vented, you're going to go ahead and uh, draw out the stage. And uh, you should have measured uh, your sample height uh, from the top of the stage to the top of your sample, which uh, in this case it was 3 millimeters. We entered that. Uh, we also make sure we're on the right specimen type uh, holder. We're going to adjust the z-axis to the correct height. And again, any of these question marks, uh, you can always click on and it will give you a description of uh, what you're supposed to be doing. So we are going to go to 13 and adjust it. And then we're going to click on the observation conditions. And in this case, we're using a metal. And any of these selections is going to ask you one of these four questions. Uh, since it's a metal, it's conductive. It doesn't need to be coded, so it won't ask if it's coded. Um, and then EDS, we're going to do EDS. So click OK and click Start. And now the uh, chamber will start uh, being brought under vacuum. All right, so once the chamber has been evacuated, the software is going to open. And we're going to run autofocus and auto contrast brightness. And we'll go ahead and hit that again. And then I'll navigate by clicking, holding, and dragging uh, the mouse over the screen uh, to drive to the sample I want to look at today. So I found my sample, and now I'm going to switch apertures to our uh, high resolution aperture, aperture 1. And now we see that little spot on the left, we need to use our X, Y knobs to uh, make the image as bright as possible. And if the image gets too bright, we're going to hit our auto contrast brightness button. And then we can see the image again. So now we're still, all we're trying to do is maximize intensity right now by adjusting our X and Y knobs on the aperture. Now we'll start increasing magnification. And here you'll see we can change our accelerating voltage. And I'm going to leave it on uh, 20 um, kiloelectron volts. Uh, spot size, we're going to reduce spot size. Lower spot size is going to be better for high resolution imaging. And I'm also going to use my reduced area mode. And that's where we can see our magnification. So magnification, mag, increase magnification uh, to about a thousand. Do our auto contrast brightness, auto focus, auto stagnation. I'm going to further increase to uh, above 2000 magnification. Just finding an optimal spot to do this. So now I'll go to the next page and do our wall. So this will do our fine-tune adjustments on the aperture. Now you'll see shifting left and right and up and down, and you use the appropriate X, Y knobs on the aperture to uh, fix this position so it doesn't move to the side to side or, or uh, up and down. You just want it to get it in and out of focus on the screen. Just checking the wobble once again. 
and you could do this uh, every time you increase magnifications. Uh, it's not necessarily every step, but if you increase a few thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, uh, it's a good idea to try to, to do it again every time. Now to this point I've been doing using the autofocus button, uh, but you can use the little pad in the bottom right corner. If you drag it uh, on the y-axis it's going to do coarse focus, on the x-axis it'll do a fine focus. And I'm just trying to refine the image, the same goes for stigmation. Uh, we have the y and the x-axis. And also if you wanted to you can adjust the contrast and brightness in the same method as well. And it is recommended to uh, increase the magnification more than uh, what you want to take your image at. Uh, so I did my uh, focus adjustments, stigma adjustments at 40,000 times magnification, and I'm taking the image at 20,000 times magnification. All right, so we've acquired our image, and then we're going to go to File, Save As to uh, save our image. And make sure you use it to our uh, SEM user folder so you can access it later. All right, now to take a measurement or click the measurement icon, we have a lot of options for your measurements, your lines, circles, uh, angle measurements. Uh, I'm just going to make a line measurement on one of the 10, uh, 10 spheres we have. So you click, hold, and drag to make your measurement, and you can always adjust the points if you need to by selecting the point and dragging. Uh, change the font, uh, font size, you can change the color, anything you need to do over here. Uh, but the main important uh, the important thing to remember is you need to uh, end up pressing the record button. So we're going to press the record button and now we're going to go back to file save as and this copy will uh, have our measurement on it. I'm just going to delete the measurements and go back to a live image. So now we're going to go through our shutdown procedures. We are going to uh, reduce the magnification to its minimum magnification. We are going to re-zero the stage uh, just by typing in 00 on our XY stage and execute. And now we're just going to uh, click the on button and turn it off and close out of the InTouchScope software.
And now to retrieve the sample, we are going to uh, click and hold the vent button on the front of the SEM. Uh, we're going to hold that until it starts flashing, and then we'll start venting the chamber. Once the chamber is vented, we can go ahead and uh, take out our sample. We'll close the Devascope software, and we'll log off of the PC.